Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be another Door Kickers 2 video. For those of you that don't know, Door Kickers 2 is a top-down uh, kind of tactical puzzle RTS kind of game. You'll see as we play more of it. Uh, you can buy it on my channel at karmacut.com and support the channel at the same time. So if you want to support us over there on the website, check it out, karmacut.com. But today we're going to be playing a custom map, which is going to be Neptune Spear Part 1. Now, this is a three-part series, as you can tell right here. And Operation Neptune Spear was the mission where uh, Navy SEAL, SEAL Team 6, went in and killed Osama Bin Laden. So this is going to be a three-part series. The first part of this mission set is going to be the first floor, just because you can't do multi-story buildings in Door Kickers 2. So we're going to be doing the first floor. And this is a pretty close recreation to the actual compound. I doubt it's exactly a one-to-one -one scale. But it's pretty dang close so awesome awesome that we have this kind of custom content in door kickers 2 and if you want to download it i'll try to remember to me leave a link in the description down below so that you guys can grab a uh, a download there but anyways guys there's going to be a 12 man clear here uh now historically there were two blackhawk landings one landed outside of the compound and the first one crash landed into the field right here so that's why we have these two separate um starting points here so let's get right into the actual planning of this operation right so first off as we can see there are a lot of compartmentalized sections within this uh this zone this compound here um we are going to have a split breach with only a four-man possible breach on the west so coming in from the east we're going to need to rapidly get control over this area uh, and control this section now as i said before this is extremely compartmentalized so my thinking is we're just going to take compartment by compartment while trying to move as fast as possible onto the center main compound um, which is this one right here. So a lot of things we have to work with here. There's a lot of open area So we're gonna have to try to take ground quickly don't want to get caught in the open too much So let's just move straight on into actually kidding out our, our soldiers or our assaulters here So uh, I don't really see too much need for uh, Anything like LMGs maybe marksmen some of these angles are quite quite long so But primarily we're going to be going with I think assaulters maybe a couple grenadiers as well uh, but trying to rush in fast and uh, on it. pretty quickly here with just on it. the Salters. So Roger. let's go ahead and Roger. I'd say the Got primary it. force is going to be okay. the first Blackhawk that crash lands here with six Assaulters. We'll maybe okay. throw in one Marksman and one support over here. On the left, let's throw in a double Got team it. of Assaulters over here. Roger. And maybe, I guess, uh, maybe we can pull one of these Assaulters off from the right flank. Throw a okay. Grenadier into the mix here. And then now down here, we have a three-man assault team plus a grenadier. As far as kits go, let's go with scars because, yeah, why not? There's a lot of open areas here. The ranges are pretty long compared to normal maps that we do play in Door Kickers 2. So having that extra range should help. So let's go ahead and kit ourselves with Mark 17s. Uh, we're going to rock. I think we're going to rock 1-4s. Uh-huh. And then as far as kit loadout, uh, fast rate level 4 plates seem good. Flashbang, slap charge, wall breach. That's pretty much going to be standard across the board. I don't think we're going to be uh, using anything else here. Do we have any locked doors we need to handle? We do have one right here. One reinforced locked door that we can hammer. Uh, we have a couple here as well. Inside the building itself, we've got a reinforced door here, but it's not locked. A window. We've got the staircase going up to the second floor right here. A couple locked doors around, but... Uh, yeah, no, this... We might bring a hammer. Let's bring one hammer on, on the breachers, so. But uh, let's go ahead and go back to this guy. And we'll first, we'll copy the loadout and share it amongst all the, uh, all the assaulters real fast by just control clicking. Perfect. And then we'll pick breachers on either side. So let's have Dallas over here, take the dynamic hammer and we'll have Mad Wolf over here, take a hammer. And then as far as our support, yeah, we, we can use a Mark 48, um, or we could use a 240. Let's use a 240, and we'll kit it with a 1-4 as well, ammo is fine. What else you got? Double flashbangs, wall breach. Do I want to bring anything else? I don't think so. Maybe some smoke grenades on our support players here. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, M110 SAS. Uh, we'll go with a Mark 20 here. We'll just make sure we get a good we'll rock with another one four here. Everyone should be rocking one fours. This looks good. We'll have you with extra slap charges just in case. And then as far as our grenadiers, we'll have them rocking M4s with one fours. Ball. 
And that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and copy this guy over too. And this looks pretty good as far as just getting our kit sorted. Let's go ahead and hop into the first planning phase. Now, like I said, we're going to try to be doing this uh, more or less step by step just going through the thought process and all. So first things first, I do think we're going to pick this gate just to clear this really fast, nice and quietly. Or we could push through and move pretty quickly. I don't think anyone can be in here. The game shouldn't spawn any players or uh, targets in here. Just because this is pretty empty. We're going to just bypass this door on the left and move along the wall to get up here. And we'll just stack here. So let me grab orange. Grab white. Move that stack up. Now, as far as this location here, it would appear that for the most part, this area is under our control already. We don't need to do any uh, initial engagements. We do have one structure over here with windows that is a little worrisome here. Um, it looks like to be a shed of some sort. I doubt there's contact in there, but we are going to have to keep a gun trained on that. Other than that, this compound is, is, is enclosed. We have two entry points here that we will need to watch, but we're just going to move hard and fast to the entry points um, both here and here by doing a, a split for two two-man teams, or two four-man teams, excuse me. So we're going to have Dallas push for this door. Um, as he's pushing, I want Dallas to constantly be looking at this shed. Or actually, no. I'm going to have Dallas look constantly at the door. Second man in the stack will follow cl closely behind, and the second man in the stack will always be looking at this shed right about here. Um, these other two are just going to come... Ah, that well is in the way. Stack up as well. Also looking at the door. And then... This guy also come over here while looking at the door. And we'll get stacked over here. This side... I don't think we have any issues that they really need to be worrying about aside from just pu pushing to this door really quick. So this first movement is mainly going to be getting everyone in position to breach the second uh, set of walls. And we're just going to have everyone here really just looking at this, this door here because there's nothing else that we really need to watch. And then once they get here, they'll reset. So we don't have any funny business going on. It's one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, and uh, we're just going to kick it off from here. Yeah, we're just getting everyone set on the doors, see if there's any contact we have to deal with in the shed. Looks like the shed is clear. We're going to go ahead and pause once everyone's in position for secondary breach. For the, for the actual primary breach, because we technically haven't breached anything yet. All right, all teams are set. How are we going to handle this next set of orders here? Um, we have Draco on point with our Mark 20, which is not exactly what we want to have happen. I'm going to have Sabursky come up to the front. And we're just going to prep this next door here. Um, these guys over here, let's see, on Alpha, you're going to come up, slam this door, and step back and look. And then, actually, this isn't going to be done on Alpha. You're just going to go ahead and do that. And on Alpha, you guys are going straight in. On Alpha, we're going to just flood this. So, door gets hit. You're coming in here, like so. Looking here. That's the first guy. Second guy of the stack will come around the corner. You're down here, and then look here. You'll come across like this as well. That's the first breach. That's all on alpha after hammer guy hits. Let's redo this real fast. So you're going to walk up. You're going to hammer it. Step back. Look here on alpha. You're going to come straight in like so. No. Come in to the side here and prep on this door again. Okay, that's that. Uh, these guys are going to move into position as well. Actually, I think we're okay with just going ahead and breaching. Even though our marksman is on point, I think we should be okay. So let me go ahead and clear these orders. And that should have been something I was paying attention to first, is making sure that this guy was not first in the stack. But oh well, we're just going to come through and have these guys really rapidly... 
dominate this area i only need these south guys focusing on this corridor right here because this team up here is four man stack there's not no much need for us to over saturate this area with guys up here uh so we're just gonna come in and get guns on this door as soon as possible Let's just come through you're looking here then i am going to have you step up and you step up okay that should be good there that's just gonna happen these guys can all go on a as well just the wet so that we get the synchronized doors i'm going that's on a and these guys will also move on a so you're gonna walk up you're gonna hammer it you're gonna step back and then on alpha you're gonna move and then on alpha everyone else here is moving um on alpha we call it go i'm actually gonna want you to step back even further so hold up let's have you come up to the door you hammer the door you step back here you look up this is on alpha on alpha we're moving left guy comes in left you come in right you come in after you come in after okay your pink's coming in and as soon as pink comes in you're then looking down this side line. we do have some trees here as you can see that may obscure some vision so we're gonna move hard and fast on this this left flank i actually need pink to be watching this door and so as ooh, yellow comes in sight lines are all good i think yellow is gonna just push fast and clear this corner once called all clear we can figure out something else second the stack comes in as soon as you come in you're looking here but these guys need to be yeah looking there this is second of the stack looking there looking there come across here like this and then i'll have white come in as well and get all online here and we'll just do this this looks okay it's not the best thing but we're just taking it piece by piece here so when we hit go, Hammer should be walking up to the door. Once both doors are open on both the southwest and the northeastern side, we'll call for A, which is everyone breaching the next set of doorways. And we'll go ahead and go. Hammers are moving up. Hammers are gone. Alpha goes. Alpha, go. So a couple contacts. Clearing the corners now. Okay, we have exterior control over the over most of the compound here we didn't clear this like i said we we're just going for speed for 34 seconds into the raid uh we need to continue moving fast here so kind of the same plan we're gonna come up and hit the door you're gonna come back and then on alpha you're moving and on alpha everyone else is going in as well down here what's going on we have a locked door that we do need to slap charge through one thing i did not know was that this is a uh hostage free scenario so we don't really need to be worrying about any hostages at all on alpha you're going okay so on alpha we're coming in here you're taking this deep right and you're pushing in at which point you'll stop about here. I don't want you going much further than this. Let's fix this. You're stopping here. That's the first man in. Second man in is going to come through the left. I might have yellow and pink split off at this point to get control over this doorway. Let's do that. And then we'll split into two two man teams over here on the left flank. I'm going to have orange hug the wall with white. And they're essentially both going to strong. Strong side this wall. Like so. That's too far. This tree's going to block you. You're going to hold it right here. Like so. So we got buddy team going there. We got buddy team coming down here. I'm going to stack the breach on this door. There's no southern window here, which was one consideration we would have had to make. If there were shooters down here, then this would be a little bit more dangerous. There's a door here I'm just noticing now. So let me actually get a gun on that door. White's always going to be looking at that door. 
Until he gets to there. Yeah, looks good to me. We'll get these two guys in the bushes. We'll start pushing down the south here. I'm going to have yellow just as, as a secondary thing. Always looking at this door as well. And pink will just... Pink's just walking straight to get security on this reinforced door. Um, this breach down here will go on alpha. These guys are also going on alpha. So alpha is the go code after the south door is set with the charge and after this guy these guys are set with the hammer so you know what? we can actually change this as well to a uh to a door charge um and then let's finish these guys down here so the door charge gets set it gets popped i want everyone is going to oh shoot how we do this you're going to come in first and clear all this and then come out here push down a little bit we'll push all the way down we can push all the way down here you however are going to step in you're gonna wait a second and then follow as well actually you're from here you're gonna take this south and go parallel with him all the while looking at this door my marksman where's my marksman i want to have him holding exterior security a little bit but the best way to do that is up here. So I'm actually going to pull our marksman off from the south. And he's going to rejoin us up here. This was a, a slight mess up on my part. And then let's flush out this northern push a little bit more. Definitely should have thought about that before and had that marksman uh, stack up up here. Just because this is like the open area to play with, right? So on alpha, that means the door charge is set. You're coming in as well. Orange is gotta worry about all this these windows and things here as well as an open doorway here so let's think this one's gonna be the trickiest out of all the next sets of movement because we're actually walking into a open courtyard with more lines of sight so it is going to be something that we have to really really th think through at this part also this guy should be coming in after stacking up have him wait here for a second as well to make sure that we got that guy in the lead. Okay, green. Where's yellow going? Yellow's backing up. Orange is coming in. I think I'm just gonna have orange and this neon green just push all the way down here and get to the bushes area here and use these bushes for cover from this set of windows and things. Yeah, let's do that. All the while, Orange is in here. He's looking here. And you are looking here. Yellow, green. Let's see. Green, I kind of want coming around to this corner and just holding this area. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you pause here and then just come around and control this sector here. And you're going to be there for the duration where yellow is going to come in and watch your back. Yellow is after alpha breach is going to come in. Oops. And just watch your back. I mean, that's still kind of messy. As soon as he comes in, he's looking at this door. And then for the most, we have everything for the most part under control. I don't actually know if I want to pull green that far in, but it should be okay. The only concern here is that see if we can get both we can do this that's much better okay that looks good on alpha go so alpha go once again is after the charges are all set i want to make sure that all these guys are doing that like this guy needs to be on alpha go is he on alpha go i can't tell there we go okay go codes look good let's go ahead and set the charge richards will step back Go pop, pop, off is going. Go. One sentry here, he's down. I'm not quite sure why these guys are stuck on the door. Let's pause this real fast and get them through the door. A little jammed up here, I'm not sure why. Oh, I think this guy got glitched a little bit, so let's have this guy come through. I should fix that down there. Yep, one more sentry down here, dead. We've got control over this courtyard here. I'm pausing real fast. Um, these guys both strong walled this uh, western wall here. 
and have eyes into this secondary compound. Looks like a work shed. We have a marksman coming online here in a second. And for the most part, everyone's in position. Got good control over almost all the sight lines. I'm going to give this guy orders before we do continue. Go shoulder to shoulder and just bring him in here real fast. Wait for the south guys to get in position and then we'll take it in a step again. So we'll pause. Now, we're mainly focused on this center compound. That's where the pri priority is. Um, and then we'll sweep through these sides with this three-man team. So we're mainly holding exterior security with these guys, with these guys, with these guys. Well, the main, main breach is going to be these three with possibly these two supporting. That's the deal. We're just going to isolate and maintain um, control over what we have right now. So first off, let's go ahead and kick down this door, halt, and then come out this way. Right? And then you're going to come in and follow like this. We'll have control over this little courtyard here. These three are going to prep to breach. Do I have a hammer down here? I don't. Do you have a hammer? Mad Wolf has the hammer. So actually, in order to do this properly, we're going to kick down this door. You're going to bang, bang, shoot him up. You're going to kick down this door and come right and regroup with these guys to knock down this door. You're coming in here and you're going to maintain security down this long angle. There's not really much that you need to watch here. We just need to make sure that this dead, dead, dead space is initially clear and we can actually pull yellow in here as well. Because after this space is initially clear, we have this angle covered from this side as well as this side. So nothing can really act. We don't really need a gun here for any reason whatsoever. So I am going to have pink stop here for a second just to make sure. Same thing here. And then these guys, you're going to knock down the door. And we'll move from there. Everyone else is holding uh, exterior security at this point. So we're coming through here. Digging through. This dead space is clear. This fight team's gonna rally up with these three and prep the stat or prep the breach. So that breach is about to come through. Okay, and these guys are all gonna go on Alpha Go codes. And I'm just gonna have Pink step back and look into the uh Look in the hallway. Watch this long angle. Also, by not moving in um, simultaneously from both the north and the south, I know this isn't too big of a, de a deal because there's no real wall pen with rounds in this game, but a consideration would have to be made where if we have people breaching from this corridor and this corridor, if bullets could penetrate the wall in between here, right? This is something that I think people think a lot about for home defense or even just uh, when, when fighting inside buildings is knowing that your bullets can go through walls and you don't necessarily know what's on the other wall or what's on the other side of the wall. Um, we're going to maintain security over this work shed uh, and over this door. We've got a gun on this side courtyard here as well as watching anything that might come out of these secondary buildings. Uh, these look like other actual guest rooms, so reinforcements could actually appear from these rooms. And we're going to continue uh, breaching with our five-man now stack. So Pink is going to step in the hallway and just hold long angle. On Alpha, we're going to start pushing in here. How we're going to do that is... Let's see, we've got a bedroom on the left with a bathroom and sink. We've got a living room space on the right as well as a door, right? That goes to the second floor. This is actually locked. This is a locked, closed door we don't have to worry about. This building is essentially cut in half. So it's just this southern half of the building we really need to worry about. So let's go ahead and have this yellowish color come in here. I'm going to have my teal guy my grenadier come in here and we're gonna move up to get cross coverage into this hallway this is actually too close right here is as far as i want to go with the cross coverage and we're just gonna actually hold everyone else off i'm gonna have Sabersky come up as well prepping but we're just gonna work this south end pretty slow here we've got security everywhere else we're just gonna work the main problem the primary building doors open alpha, alpha goes go. move and set up cross coverage that's good um, I'm going I'm going to have Mad Wolf come in. I don't want to saturate this too much because Nade comes through or anyone comes around spraying. There's a lot of targets here that that of friendlies that could get hit. Let's see if we can get a flash in any good angle here. Hmm. I'm going to have pink actually sidestep a touch and get another angle on this right. And then I'm going to have yellow flash bang this side. And green or teal. Move up a little bit. 
Uh, we're not going to be able to get this. So we're just going to flash here. And after the flash, we're coming around fast. Go ahead and flip. I'm going to have... Uh, no. I'm going to have my LMG hold the angle. And my secondary assaulters come through as well now. I don't know what happened here. Apparently, there's a dude in, in, in the window or in the in the staircase. That's a, that's a mismanaged click by me. I didn't actually think I pushed him to open the door, but I guess I did. So we're going to have to take this corner fast. One assaulter down. Unfortunate. Whip this around fast. So he's down now. We're going to continue clearing this compound. Get a gun on this door. Get a gun here. Move the LMG up. And then these two guys are going to work this right corner here as well. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I'm just going to have yellow pie this angle real fast. Once this angle is clear, I'm now going to have pink come in and handle anything that might be in this room. Nothing's in the room. We're looking good at this point in time. LMG still walking up here. We're going to wait. I'm going to have the LMG and Saberski take this corner together. Okay, so this southern half of the building is good. One assaulter down. That's a slight misclick on my end, but oh well. That's how it is sometimes. Um, at this point, we're going to... Now that we have... We don't have to worry about shooting through this hallway. I'm going to send a four-man team to push up here, or maybe a three-man team to start breaching from the north end of the structure. So that's going to be probably Dallas moving up with Captain Chuck and Chungus supporting. And then we have Draco with his long gun securing pretty much everything like this. So let's go ahead and get these guys stacked. These um, four, I guess we could have them like, it'd be kind of fun to just have them out of the game and just make them go up the stairs in our mind. But we'll see if we have a use for them later. We'll have them stacked on the stairs ready to go anyways. So let's go ahead and get these guys over here stacked on the stairs. Um... Otherwise, we're maintaining security on the rest of the compound. We're just isolating each problem individually. I'm going to keep yellow on the door. I'm going to have Chuck pie out. And once he's pied out, I'm going to have Orange step up a little bit. We're going to get a flash bang in the doorway right here. And on that flash, yellow is going to hook the corner and come in. Bang, bang, shoot him up. And Orange is going to come in as well. Bang, bang, shoot him up here. And this should be on Alpha, but oh well sort of fat fingering or a little it's been it's been what a week since we played right so we're gonna make sure we've got good coverage on either one of these doors here have orange or green excuse me come up to secure what do we do here at this point um can we work anything else i don't feel comfortable two man buddy man clearing the rest of this compound like this we're just gonna take this with our three man team here and continue clearing this area Let's see. Let's get green to actually flashbang this. And after the flash, you're coming in now. So civilian here. Got one one uh, bad guy here. He's down. Um, and then at the same time, green's going to come around the corner here. With orange and clear this structure. Go. Okay. This set of buildings is clear. Let's get security back in the hallway again. And then now we're going to walk up again. And we have to take this horizontal angle simultaneously. So we're just going to do it quickly here. And we'll hold green back supporting, watching the rear. Okay, so this center building is completely clear. And once again, we had a, mess, a misstep here. I, I, I must have blanked or something. <laughs> That's completely my bad. Now we have to worry about the rest of this compound here as this is technically a um, complete elimination scenario. It's not just we get to this building and we win. So let's go ahead and continue looking at how we're going to clear the rest of this compound. We're just going to take these four guys out of the fight and in our mind they're going up to the second floor just to keep things a little bit more fun and thematic. And we're going to roll the rest of these three guys. These guys can come out and help secure the rest of the compound. So these guys are going to come out the north end of the building here. Come on. And now Draco literally just has to be oriented on this doorway. We just have these structures over here to deal with. This dead space back here and this little garage area space here. All right, we're stacked in this doorway. Do we have a breaching charge? We do. We're going to wall charge this, get everyone else stacked up. And as they're doing that, I can actually continue the strong wall over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. Can we get through? We can go all the way here. 
and have you continue to about here as well. And all the while we're looking into the building and see if we can see anything. Um, all right, we're getting the wall charged down. This will be on alpha when we breach so that we get a simultaneous pinch here to some degree. All right, this wall charge is good. On alpha, we're going in. Green's gonna come in on to the left. Orange is, uh, let's just strong wall this south wall as well. So we're just gonna come through here, come through here, come through here. And as you come in, you're clearing the left. Once the left is clear, then you're looking eaten uh, right here. You'll, you'll be watching this. Second guy in the stack, as soon as he comes in, he needs to be watching that north. If I can get control over this line, I can't. And we accidentally clicked because I was trying to get my orange in there. That's upsetting. Let's just go on alpha. That's fine. We're strong walling over here still. This is all empty and clear. We've got dead space down here, another room here, and a secondary room here. So, some limitations of the game and clicking buttons getting in the way tonight. But hey, we're not going to let that ruin our fun. Um, these four guys are out of the picture. Let's continue clearing here. These guys are going to hold exterior security here. I think I do have partial eyes on this doorway. I do. Can I get... Oh, I, I can't hop this. Okay. So, we're going to actually hop this and continue down here. All the while looking in. Give me orange. Uh, and then at the same time, we're going to have this team stack and prep to push this. Green's going to come through. The left is the dead space here, so I'm actually going to have green come around and check left. While orange and gold move to the, secure this door. Like so. Go ahead. Get over the wall, please. A little glitchy that's fine that's fine early access it's okay we're chilling we're chilling okay we're gonna prep to breach this here and then i can actually have this two-man stack move up and prep to take this door here as well like so that should be good these guys are prepped this left is clear i'm gonna have you actually come over here now Let's go ahead and actually just double charge this door. There's no reason not to. We have a whole bunch of ordnance on us. For some reason, I can't. Why? I don't know. We're just gonna, let's just, let's just kick it in. Let's just go. Let's just go. Kick it in. All right. This little barnyard here area is clear. Now that this is clear, I'm gonna have these last two guys work this last door, have these three guys rotate around to the north and handle this last subsection of the actual compound. So we're coming out at this point in time. I can actually flip Draco now because everything is clear south of this line, pretty much. So let's go ahead and push a little bit more into this compound here as well. I'm going to have cross coverage here. Yellow's going to come around like so, like this. Go ahead. Cool. Good kill on the corner there. These guys are prepped. Let's go ahead and have them breach as well. In left and right. Oh. This little subsection here is clear. Let's go ahead and get these guys ready to move as well. Get them stacked. I'm going to change the orientation of these guys here. So that we're a little bit more committed on the sides. I'm actually going to have the marksman pie this off and take the corner here. Now that these guys are set. All right, this garage is clear. I'm going to have this four stack now take this upper set of compounds. So how are we going to do this? We've got door, window, window, door. We also got technically a staircase to the second floor here, but we're not going to worry about it just because door kickers, right? One floor at a time. So I'm going to have gold actually step past the door. Unless the door is open. So let's actually check to see if the door is open. As we come around the corner here. Um, yeah, let's check to see if the door is open. Because I feel like that guy that we just yeeted right here might have come out of the building. So let's check this left. 
the door is in fact open. So if the door was closed, I would have pushed this point man past the closed door to maintain security down the front, right? So that we have a gun up on the 12. I don't want to hold him here because as he's working the door, if he was going to work this closed door, someone could pop out here. We don't have a gun to a front unless we step someone off of him shoulder to shoulder watching down the front. So with this door open, that's going to change our SOP a little bit here. Let's get everyone bunched up. Um, how do we want to do this? I still want to have a gun front at all times. So you are no matter what, always looking to the front. The second man in the stack can now begin to actually pie this ending about here. These guys are going to move up behind shortly. We got civilian in here. Okay. So now we're going to take this door for this building quickly with a deep flash so on the flash we're pushing in it's on alpha this is on alpha and you're actually going to now hit this wall and maintain security down here as these guys breach on alpha we're coming in and you are going into the right you are coming into the left you are coming in down here as well like so. All right, go ahead and execute. Flash goes out. Alpha oh, goes. Go. All right. We have security exterior here. We have... Let's finish this movement. Sweet. Can you detain this civilian? You cannot. We got a door here, so we kind of have partial sight lines in to the next room. We have dead space close left, mid left, and deep left. So... We're going to flash this with our back guy in this bedroom. Flash is going to go out. What is this? This is a veteran insurgent who surrendered. Well, we're not going to worry about that right now. You just stay there. We're going to handle this room first, maintaining green security here and here. Flash is going to come out and you're coming in. Once you call all clear, step out. All right, we're clear here. Yellow can come up as well move parallel with green got another dead space left um we could do something cheeky by opening this door at the same time we're not going to we're just going to maintain security on this door and play things by the book so i'm actually gonna have yellow sidestep again stack up behind green as yellow steps up behind why are you taking this weird route what is blocking you um as you're stepping up once you get here you're gonna flashbang this left corner, this next room, same thing. You come around, bang, bang, shoot him up, and then turn around, go. Okay, we're clear. Let's continue inching up here. We don't know what's going on with this guy. We do want to detain him as soon as possible. I want to be able to yell at, can I yell at this guy and tell him like, get out of the way? I can cuff him, but I want to cuff him in the doorway. Honestly, I want to just shoot this guy, but hey. That's not exactly kosher, I guess. All right, so we're going to sit here and get yellow and orange ready to breach once again. There's got to be at least a couple more insurgents here. We're out of flashes there. Can we get another flash in this way? Hmm. Maybe we try to get a flash in with this guy. I think he has flashes still. Yeah, he does. Okay, so we can flash kind of like this around the corner. We've already checked all of this just because we've been holding this long angle for a long period of time. So all I really need to do is be able to flash around here. Hmm. 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 Cancel everything. No, no, no. Just come. Just, just come back. I don't. I don't feel confident about that. We're just gonna take this room quickly together. We're gonna bypass this insurgent. Take the left. Take the right. Like so. Go. Okay. That was the last guy. The guy with his hands up. So looks like that's gonna be it. So we lost one operator just because of my dumbass clicking incorrectly on the staircase here and uh we didn't use these four guys just to like role play i guess them going up the stairway to, to kill uh, osama but other than that clear no casualties i think we took everything uh, like this isolated compartmentalized whole compound here pretty carefully we you know isolated the threats we dealt with them one at a time uh we cleared pretty safely just a little goofiness here on the corner
Um, so unfortunately, that's what happened. But hey, let's go roll into the next uh, part of Neptune Spear in the next video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video of Door Kickers 2. As always, if you do like the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to pick up this game on the channel, don't forget that you can do that at KarmaCut.com while supporting us. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I do hope you enjoy uh, the content. And uh, until next time, be safe, be happy, and good hunting out there.